Little Boo, written by Stephen Wonderly and illustrated by Tim Zeltner. The wind blew, the leaves fell, and a tiny seed hid in the garden. The seed said to a leaf rolling by. You're not scary at all, the leaf said. A grub was burrowing in the soil nearby. Boo, said the seed. I'm busy, said the grub. The seed sighed. It began to get cold. A snowflake fell close to the seed, then another and another. said. There's more of us than you, the snowflakes whispered back. Why would we be scared of you? Poor seed. It's not time for scaring, the wind said. Not yet. Be patient. You'll be scary soon enough. I want to be scary now, the seed said, trying to make himself big. Just wait, the wind whispered carefully blowing soil over the seed to keep him from the cold. The seed sighed one last time and finally fell asleep. Boo, he said in his dream. It was a very long sleep and when the seed awoke, the air was warm above him. He reached for it reached and reached until he could feel it. Ah, the seed said, time to get back to scaring. The seed was growing into a tender little sprout. Boo, said the little sprout to an old boot, but the boot didn't say anything back. Boo, he said to a shovel, but the shovel was silent. Boo, said the little sprout to a watering can, but the watering can didn't say a word either. So, the young little sprout decided to keep growing. The wind came by for a visit. Boo! said the little sprout, who was now a little plant. He was proud of how big he had gotten. Not today, said the wind, but soon, soon. The little plant kept growing and sometimes tried to scare the bucket and the bees and a grasshopper. Boo! 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 He said, but none of them were even the least bit afraid. So, the plant that began as a seed grew and grew and grew. Soon, little orange flowers appeared. Flowers aren't very scary, he thought. But then, the flowers fell away, and little green fruit began to grow. They grew fast. Can I boo now? The plant asked the wind. Not quite yet, the wind said. One round green fruit grew much bigger than the others, and then it turned orange. A pumpkin. Boo, the pumpkin said to the hands that picked it up. But they weren't scared as they carried the pumpkin to the house. The wind shut the door behind them. I'll be right there, the wind said. The darkness crept in above the trees. There was no moon. A single candlelight appeared in the night. Boo, said the pumpkin that was now a jack-o'-lantern. Yow, said the cat. Good scaring, said the wind. Do it again. Boo, said the jack-o'-lantern. Screamed the goblins. Woo said the wind, whirling around the bare trees and stirring up the leaves. What wonderful scaring. Thank you, said the jack o' lantern, who used to be only a seed. Boo! 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 And the light from the jack o' lantern's grin flew over the trees 
and spread across the night.